Okay, folks, here we are. We're at Thousand Hills Farm, and today we're going to be making fresh Sheboygan style bratwurst. And I'm here with my number one sausage making partner, Eliza. <laughs> Hi. I've got the Wisconsin shirt on because Wisconsin is famous for brats and sausages, especially Sheboygan style brats. And Eliza has a California shirt on because it's cool. Right, Liz? So here's what we're using today. We'll give you a little description. We're using our famous antique enterprise sausage stuffer. So this unit is much older than I am and it works great. The only thing we've added to it is we've added a squeegee because with the plate that they made it with, the squeegee actually works, gives it a little bit extra uh, push and it actually works a little better. And we're going with a plastic tube as opposed to the standard metal tube because it's a little easier to put the casings on and it stuffs a little easier. We're using today, uh, we're going with a prepackaged spice mix. This is from Haunt in Milwaukee. If you're looking to make Sheboygan style brats, this is an awesome mix. Um, they've done everything for you. And it turns out an awesome bratwurst. We're using the natural hog casings. You'll see in a minute. For the meat, we're using our own pastured pork. Um, we're using a two thirds, one third mix. So we're using one third of our pastured pork and two thirds of our grass fed ground beef. We're adding to that, we'll show you that in a minute, some of our pork fat. This is the um, leaf lard, so it's the fat that's around uh, the kidney of the pig. So this is the premium fat on a pig used to make lard. Um, we're, we're gonna have that chilled and ground in a second. And then we're using this grinder to grind the pork fat. Everything else has been ground already, so it'll just be mixed. And we're using a little larger plate. If you wanted smaller pieces of fat, you could use a smaller plate, um, but we'll show you how that works here in a second. And so let's get started. So here we are, we're gonna grind the fat again. We're adding the leaf lard. We're gonna grind that up and mix it up. And the reason we're doing that is because we're using grass-fed beef and pastured pork. And we've tried making the bratwurst before without adding fat. And with it being so lean, it doesn't grill up well. It dries out on the grill real easy and it doesn't taste as good. So we're going to be adding about 20%, get up to about 20% fat. We've cut up the leaf lard into sections. We're going to run it through the grinder. So, all right, so what we've done is we've added in the spices, the spice packet. It's quite a lot of spices, and Eliza is mixing away, just rubbing it in, moving it around. Again, we've got... Uh, the fat, the beef, and the pork, we've added the fat. It's all super chilled. It's probably just on the edge of being frozen. So it stuffs a lot better that way. So, Liza, how do your fingers feel? I don't know, I can't feel them. <laughs> That's why you're doing this job and not me. I can tell. Okay, so we got it pretty well mixed. There's Meredith, hi Meredith, sausage queen. Sausage queen so of we're, Chicago. So we're what pretty movie? well mixed here now, and we're going to let it chill one more time before we stuff it. Okay, so what we've done here is, if you can see, we put all the casings that came in that package in cold water, and we're rinsing them off because they come packed in salt. And they also tend to have a little bit more of a flavor, a harsher flavor, or giving a little off flavor if you don't clean them real good. So what we do is we've soaked them in cold water for 15 minutes, and then... They're actually sections, so it's not just one long piece. And then we kind of fill this up, just like take a section and fill it up like a balloon. Rinse it off real good, and then fill it up like a balloon, and then run the water through it. And this one's ready to be stuffed. Okay, now we'll come over here. Just filling, taking that casing we just cleaned, and we're just gently threading that on to the stuffing tube on our stuffer. Try and keep that casing centered. I'm sure a professional butcher would do this in about one tenth the time, but we're not professional butchers, we're just looking for something fun to do on a Sunday afternoon. Plus we know where our sausage came from. Okay, so you get to the end, you tie a knot right here. So this is the last piece. A simple knot, and then we're we'll be just about ready to stuff. 
Okay, here's Liza. She's packing it down. We're trying to get all the air pockets out before we close it up. And we'll put that plastic piece right in the top, Liza. Okay, Liza packed it down real good. We'll put the plastic piece down. Close it over. And then we're going to start stuffing. There you go. That's it, Liza. off, push this down a little bit, tie a knot, and then Eliza's going to demonstrate how to separate the links. Okay, Eliza's going to demonstrate how we pinch off the sausage. We got the, the um, right at the middle point, we pinched and twisted it, and she's going to find a, the appropriate length, pinch it, twist it, give it a little bit of a twist, try and be careful to pinch it so you don't blow the sausage out of the casings. So she's trying to make some room there so it doesn't break. Right, give it a half twist. There you go. Now she's going to bring one of the legs through the loop. And you alternate your legs through that loop that she just made. Bring it in and through. She's going to give it another and I'll find the next length. Match up those lengths, pinch, make another loop like the last one, bring the legs through, and bring the other leg through and around. So pinch it off. You always end up with one that's you got to either going to get one that's a little too long or a little stubby. And there is that batch. We're going to keep making sausage. And there's our sausage supervisor <laughs> making sure all is well. So, guys, we had uh, finished up the brats. It's an awesome afternoon spent with my beautiful daughter Liza making some bratwurst. We had a great time thanks to Isaiah, my son, for doing the videotaping. Packer fan, got to be here in Wisconsin. So the last thing is we're getting ready to put it in the freezer. So we got six brats here. We just kind of wrap, put it in the corner, and then we kind of spring them over. Keep moving the edges over the corner, trying to keep as much air out as possible. Grab some tape, tape it up, and then what we like to do is write how many links we have on here. We got six links. Brats. Okay, so we got six links. These are ready for the freezer and then from the freezer to the grill. But a great time this afternoon. Thanks for watching. If you want to see us, come visit us down at the Kenosha Harbor Market. We're there every Saturday selling beef, chicken, pork. We sell you everything to make your own brats except the spices. Um, so look forward to seeing you then.